Scoop. Hi, this is Isaac for Pop Scoop, and we are here at Sundown 2015, Sundown Festival 2015, and I'm talking to the lovely Melissa Steele. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. You killed good. it on stage. Thank you. Was that was that fun for you? Yeah, no, it was a really energetic crowd. I had a good time out there. Yeah. Yeah. You've been doing a lot of um, a lot of touring over the summer, festivals and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I've done a few festivals. I did wireless. Um, I did one called Spring Fest. Um, I did a couple of shows in IB for as well, which was really fun because it was my must first be nice. time there. Yeah, and I also did um, Ariana Grande's UK tour with Chris Shane. So that was really fun. Um, Is that a good experience to learn from yeah, how the whole system yeah, works? Yeah, it was, it was really inspiring because um, me and her are the same age. So it was really good just to see how she does it. And she, her voice is amazing. And it was my first time doing arenas as well. So Nice. Yeah. Nice, and you hung out with her a bit too. Or? Yeah, I mean, it was a very busy tour, but yeah, we did we did get to see her a few times. That's good. Got That's a good. quick selfie. Yeah, it's all about that, isn't yeah. it? A few <laughs> selfies and all that. So, how did you start out? What was the first, um, you know, buzz moment that got you going? Like, I, I will, I'm gonna do music. This is for yeah. me. I mean, to be honest, I've always known that I want to do be a, to, wanted to be a singer. Um, even before I knew you could do it as a job, it's always just been something that I've been really passionate about. I've grown up singing, dancing, um, and I recorded my first song when I was 11 in the studio. So I've pretty much always known. Um, started doing shows at that age as well, and then at 15, I started doing YouTube videos. And that's kind of where I built my core fan base. Covers and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I started doing covers, um, and I just do it for fun. Um, like who? I used to do like, well, I did like Beyonce. I did. You remember the girl group Cherish? Yes. That yes. was like their first. That was my first cover I did. Um, I think that some of them are still on there, so you can <laughs> kind of find them. But they're a bit embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I started getting a lot of views on there, and it kind of attracted attention down here, and that's how I got to know my team. And okay. I'm here now, so that's a yeah. long story short. <laughs> that's the long story short. Yeah. And is that right that the rumor I'd heard that you've been at the same high school as as a certain certain Zayn Malik? Is yeah. That possible. Yeah, me yeah. and him were at the same in, Bradford, in the right? same year at school. Yeah. And you sort of sent each other song song ideas occasionally. Yeah. That's... I mean, yeah, we we've both always been passionate about singing, so yeah. Yeah, I think you should let him guest on your your upcoming album, that kind of thing. That would be amazing, would be yeah. Good, don't you think? Yeah, Give that's him a, a break, cool idea. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, so your debut single uh, that you did with um, Popcan, right? Yeah. Um, that was out. That was out last year. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it went straight into the top top ten. Yeah, didn't it was it? in the top ten. Yeah, that was amazing. I mean, I feel like I I really did believe in the song um, when it came out. Kisses but you for know, breakfast, yeah, kisses yeah. for breakfast. Yeah. Um, but you know, I didn't expect it to do so well because no one knew who I was. And it was the song yeah, that it was, did it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was amazing. It's, I'm so happy it did so well. Yeah. Yeah. And your current single, um, "You Love Me," uh, with, yeah. with a question mark. Um, yeah. <laughs> and and that again, a completely epic video too, oh, with thanks. you and Rich on yeah. top of that. Was it like a diner? Yeah. You're at top of the diner. There's yeah. trains going past. Yeah. So we shot the video in LA, and it was at a place called the Pink Motel. Okay. So yeah, we was on top. It we was on fun. the roof. Yeah, it was really fun. Um, yeah, and I'm excited for that to come out. It was produced by Rodney Jerkins, who to me is a legend. He created a lot of the R&B music that I listened to growing up. That must so, have been great then. Yeah, too. and a lot of Michael Jackson stuff. So, amazing. I have heard of him. <laughs> yeah, wow, so yeah. So you, you um, have the pedigree there then. Really yeah, good. and it's obviously the single's coming out on the 11th of September. It's That's, super catchy, yeah. so I think. I hope everyone likes it. What's the hook from? You've got a little little girl saying yeah, that you can so, hear in the background. Yeah, so that's that a really from? cool story. So the little girl yeah. um, is actually Rodney Jerkins' daughter, the producer's okay. daughter. Um, and, you know, I heard that when the, when he was creating the song, when it was in the studio, he called his daughter and was trying to get her to say, I love you. And <laughs> she was like, no, you love me. You know that you love me. And then he just put it into the song, Brilliant. which I think is really cute. It's very it's cute. Really cute. It was genuine as well. So <laughs> great story. Yeah. Um, right. So that's coming out very soon. And yeah. Are you going to tour? 
Um, well, I'm, right I'm now I'm fini- right now I'm finishing the album. I'm going to be doing like smaller shows, um, and then I'm going to have another single after this. And then next year is when all of and that's going to begin when the album comes out. Yeah, that's the best time for me to do it. Great. Um, Looking forward to so it. So yeah, I'm excited for the single to come out, and I hope everyone likes it. I think they will. It's really fun. Um, are you happy to do some biographical trivia questions? Yes. Yeah, sure. Um. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink, nice. Favorite animal? Do you have one? Lion. Lion. And do you have any pets yourself? No, I used to have a cat and it was like my daughter. It was like my child. But it's not here anymore. Oh no. I know it does happen, sadly. <laughs> yeah, no. Sadly. But we, um, do you support a team or a sports star or are you not really into sports? Um, I mean, I only watch the World Cup, to be honest, and I support Brazil, which is even worse, because I don't even support my own country, so, yeah, <laughs> sorry guys. We, shouldn't, we should edit that bit out, yeah. probably, right? Um, if I was to, <laughs> just be honest, if I was to, yeah. to, to support a football team, it would probably be Man United, though. That's a good one to choose. Um, <laughs> I think our, our, <laughs> do you support, um, what's your favorite food or meal? I have a few. I really like Indian food. I like chicken cryo curry with pilau rice. It's very specific. We've yeah. never gotten that specific. Yeah, and I like Caribbean food. Okay. And do you cook yourself? Or? Yeah, I can cook Caribbean food. Nice. I'm quite good, actually. <laughs> if you like spicy food, you'll like my food. Very spicy. Um, do you have a favorite film of all time? Um, of all time. Or TV series? Um, right now. I really like Breaking Bad. I'm really sl- like I'm really behind okay, on this. Okay, so I can't say anything. What happens in? <laughs> I no. can't say what happens. I'm almost done though. So all right, all right. I have kind of an idea, but I like Breaking Bad. I have a few favorite films. I love White Chicks. I love Mean Girls. I love Avatar. Avatar for me is like the most amazing. So excited film about the next thing. two then. Yes. Up. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Okay. Um, what was the first album that you bought with your own money? Probably Beyonce's Dangerously in Love. Okay. Yeah. And you still listen to that? Yeah, it's amazing. It's, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> epic. <laughs> um, uh, are you a coffee or a tea person? Tea. Tea, good. And um, do you have a favorite item of clothing or a favorite designer? Um, right now, well, I go for phases. So right now, I really love bomber jackets. That's like my must have. <laughs> Even though I don't have one right now, but well, that's my uh, must have. our last bit of sun for the year, <laughs> so I think you'll be able to wear them very soon. Yeah, um, and I love Alexandra Wang, and I like, um, for shoes, I love Giuseppe's, like yeah. the Giuseppe trainers, Get they're just so comfortable. Just in case they're listening so they yeah. can send something. <laughs> Um, and what was the first poster that you had up on your wall as a, as a teen? It was Spice Girls, 100%. I nice. was Scary Spice, yeah, <laughs> I was. That's not still up, right? No, Sorry. no, 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 no. no. <laughs> sometimes it is, we've heard it sometimes it no. is. No. Um, and then uh, finally, um, who is your ultimate hero? Um, it's really cheesy, but probably my mom. <laughs> nice, nice. My mom. And inspiration-wise, I'd say Mariah and Aaliyah. Okay, and career-wise too, that sort of, you know, the longevity for Mariah. Yeah, Mariah, amazing. Um, I was saying this other day, actually, like, the first ever piece of music I heard was Mariah Carey as a baby. Like, the um, was it Fantasy, the album? Yes, yeah. That that was the first piece of music I heard in, ever heard, first time ever. It was inspiration so. from, from, from the cradle, yeah. basically. <laughs> and then do you have a, finally, um, life motto or favorite quote? Do I have a life motto? Well, I have this two shall pass on my arm. That means like any negative situation that happens in your life will pass over. It's in the Bible. Um, that's that's good. If it's there, it thing. should be pretty much yeah, a favorite. So. So. <laughs> nice. <laughs> thank you so much for chatting to us, thank Melissa. You. And wishing you all the best of luck with your single. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Good to meet you. <laughs> good to meet you. Pop scoop.